We're Slick Rock Productions and we're going to do an installation today on some SDR doors. So we're putting some finishing touches on Jake's new build here and we didn't want to go with a conventional door. We wanted something that looked a little different. Um, SDR offers, a, they call it a hybrid door and these are kind of seamless doors that changes the hinging locations on them. They have a really cool look to them and we knew that that would be the look we wanted for this car. So we reached out to Combustion Motorsports and SDR. Um, Combustion Motorsports sells a ton of SDR stuff. They keep it all in stock. Um, you can get these doors through those guys at uh, CombustionMotorsports.com. But when you get these doors, they really don't come with instructions. They basically come with um, a components list in them. It gives you all the hardware. Um, and so the uh, the door skins and the frame rails are separate. Um, we've, we've powder coated all of our stuff. So um, once again, just to kind of get a finishing look, we're going with a two-tone look on them. But all the brackets that they come with are relatively simple to figure out. But on the tail end of this video, we're going to do a, a lot of steel pictures and kind of show you what we're talking about here. But the aluminum bracket that's inside of them, all of them taper towards the machine so your doors shut properly. Um, the rear brackets have a weld on the lower tab. The lower tab goes on the outside of the tab that's on the frame. And so just remember that the welds go on the outside. Um, there's, you know, all the bolts that go through, this is one bracket, this is one bracket, plus the aluminum piece inside. So they're not real hard to figure out, but like I said, we'll put a bunch of steels in it and where they go. And so piece by piece, let's uh, put this together and see what it looks like. So kind of a helpful tip here, when you put this rear bracket on, um, leave all these uh, gold bolts loose. So you can use the existing bolts if you want to in the frame, if you want the black on the outside, but they, they do come with new hardware. But if you leave these loose, you can put the bracket around the frame. It's notched on the top, so it kind of slides in a little easier. So put it on, then clamp it back down. Um, the front bracket, this is an aftermarket cage. I assume everybody with an aftermarket cage is gonna have the same problem. The holes don't line up perfectly, so we had to ream those out. We put, ran a drill bit through them. But we're gonna go ahead and install um, the inner door frames now and get them adjusted. The only adjustment you have is a striker plate. So um, before you put your skins on it, put your door frame on it. Let's make sure that those open and close properly first. So once you get your frames on, um, the only adjustment you have in these is the latch itself will move um, back and forth horizontally about three eighths of an inch. So you have a little bit of play there and then you can adjust your strikers. So once you get them on and you get them centered, um, the front and the rear, what you want to do is be able to shut that door and not hear anything. So this one, no rattle, but this one, you want to get that out of it. So use your striker plate, um, it, it's rubber inside of the latch, and put a little bit of pressure on it because I promise you when you're rolling down the road, it'll drive you insane. So once you get your doors on and aligned, the kits come with some, uh, some foam tape. Run the tape along the frame to keep your skins from rattling on it. And I'll help keep them quiet. So the last step of this is there's some billet caps that go on top of the hinges, kind of finish out the finished look on it. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I know Jake is too. It's got a really cool custom look to it. Um, I've heard horror stories about installing these doors. I heard they were terrible, they're really tedious. It's actually not true at all. This took about two hours, it's not a big deal. Um, the fit and finish is great on them and I'm really happy with the way they turned out and the way they look. So if you wanna get a set of these doors, check them out at strmotorsports.com. We'll catch you in the next video.